Hi, Lillian. How, how are you? I'm okay. How are you? Yeah, I am wonderful. How was your Christmas? Well, it was a nice holiday. I rested. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. Two days, I was lying down in bed, <laughs> and I would do what is called R and R. R and R. Yeah. Rest and reflect. Oh wow! And talking of reflecting, I know you have some big plans for 2020 for MediLives. This year, you was able to launch the app, which the launch happened last month. Yes. Um, in London. Yeah. Um, I know that you are planning some road shows. Yes. Um, I know the app will be fully functioning by the first quarter of next year. Yes. Um, and people can still be able to get tokens. Um, what else do you have in store? Well, let's uh, actually develop the concept and the timeline of 2019. Yeah. 2019 was an incredibly, incredibly interesting year. Yeah. For the life of many lives. We beat about uh, 14, 15 different countries. Wow. Trying to promote many lives as an organization. This time last year, we said before the end of the year, we will bring out the actual product. Yeah. The MVP, the minimum viable product of many life app. But people think it is an impossibility. Mm. But our team, they worked really, really hard. Yeah. And it, we came out with a viable product. In fact, you were at the launch. Yeah, I was. Launch. And there were, what, 31 countries represented? 31 countries represented, almost 200 people in attendance. Yeah, over 60 delegates from around the world. Well, I mean, you were there, you actually took so many countries, <laughs> right? But 2019 has given out a stepping stone to a bigger thing that is going to come. Okay. We had covered about 14 different countries for the last last 12 months yeah and in 2020 we plan to cover about 20 to 30 different countries wow within the first third quarter of 2020 wow that's big we're also bringing on board so many partners mm -hmm. and associates as you know what makes a Medin life app unique is its diversity yeah it's, it's unification. It unifies different medical protocols. It does. The traditional mm -hmm. and the unconventional. Which means things like um, nutritional stuff, things like homeopaths, things like um, uh, non conventional medicine, they're going to be brought on the platform. Wow. And we're already receiving a lot of requests from different organizations for us to have a product, the app product on our platform, so that we made it available. So what MediLine, why it is fundamentally different, apart from it, it's a medical app, but it's actually bringing a unorthodox, yeah, unconventional medicine, yeah. so that it gives people choices. Yeah, because it, it, it is kind of true what people say sometimes, you are what you eat, right? Exactly. So that's good. So, question: What keeps you up at night when you think medilives? When you think three point two billion people around the world do not have healthcare, what about that keeps you up at night? That says, okay, I have to wake up and do extra. Okay, I mean, the story I should know, but just very briefly, it was something that happened to my son. Yeah. Uh, about eight nine years ago. And we were in the hospital for about 12 hours. Yeah. And only for the doctor to come and look after his health just in less than one minute. And based on all of these, that actually was the why. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's my reason, the purpose. Yeah. I had a lot of partners in the past who wanted to work with us, and but they could not see the vision that we had. Mm -hmm. A lot of people come along, what they can see is the money. Yeah. Some people come along, what they can see is a problem. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But what I can see is a solution. Wow. Okay. It's a solution of 
sit it down, seeing that in the next four years, in the next 10 years, a lot of people will have many life app on their phone and able to use it. For quality health. Quality health. Quality health, convenience. Fitness health, right? So they're able to use it and able to provide them with solution that they needed. Even, this is my mantra. Yeah. <clears throat> we live in London. Yeah. Some people live in America. Yeah. Germany. Yeah. We live in a very medically advanced nation. We do. Okay? Yeah. But the reality is we're further away from medical dispensation. Mm. Because for now, if you need to see your GP at the moment in London, you have to wait about three to four, five weeks just to see a doctor. But what MediLife is doing is MediLife says, look, let's remove all of that. Mm -hmm. We have it contacted or connected with a doctor for medical protocol dispensation to monitor your health 724-365. Wow. Regardless of the location where you're in. Mm. Whether you're in the remotest part of Scotland, wow. you're in the remotest part of uh, Mozambique, you're in the remotest part of America, you can connect with a doctor, a specialist on the platform. To be able to communicate and say to the doctor, this is what is actually happening. But it's not only just communicating with the doctor, the doctor is able to see your medical data, your primary data, your heart rate, your blood level, your sugar level, which the app is able to collect. So, that, so the app records all of that. All of that. So even things like ECG, um, blood pressure. Um, I also read somewhere that it does family history yes. and, and so forth. What was very <coughs> interesting about the launch is um, to advance the app as the app grows later on in the future, I will even be able to track a woman's pregnancy. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, this is, this is what we want to bring about. You know, yeah. This is what the aim is. We want to be able to achieve five different things which we're not currently achieving within the medical space. Yeah. Number one is time saving. Number two is convenient. Number three is cost saving. Number three is accessibility. And the fifth one is technology. Wow. And the sixth, which I'm going to add, is <laughs> having your own ownership of your own health data. Yeah. At the minute, I don't have ownership of my own health data. You, you don't, don't have. No. To be able to see any of those, you have to go to a doctor, you have to wait for a long time. Yeah. But with AI, artificial intelligence, your medical history is is recorded for you. 724-365. Wow. So you'll be able to have access to your medical record at any point in time. And the web blockchain comes in is to be able to give you your own private key. Yeah where you can have access to your own medical dispensation and you only allow any doctor, any professional person, any relative to have access to that medical information at your own free will. Wow. Right? So if you do not authorize anyone to do so, they cannot have access to that medical information. This is where the MediLife app is fundamentally different. Yeah. People say, what makes you different? I said, well, we are different because in the marketplace you only have appointment based, you only yeah. have fitness based. Yeah. But here you're not only having the recording of your own medical data, but the preservation and privacy of that medical data at the same time. Mm. Number two is able to connect you with a doctor audio visually, regardless of the location that the doctor is, regardless of the location that you're in. So we brought you into the world a non invasive. Mm -hmm. A non blood, mm -hmm. a non fluid, a non surgical medical monetary app. So telemedicine. Telemedicine. Yeah. That can monitor your body at all times. So if there's someone like looking at this and thinking, like, wow, that is all genius, I want to get the <coughs> app. Um, how do I get to know that the doctors that are on there are qualified? Um, because I can come on there and sign up as a doctor, right? And so can you. So what would you tell those people to give them the confidence that every doctor on there is a qualified doctor? Okay, Leanne, it's very, very simple. 
you might come to me and you say, look, we want to be on the app. Yeah. Right? I want to become a doctor who can look after patients yeah. on the app. The first thing we're going to ask you, what's your name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the second one is, what is your qualification? Yeah. And the third one is, what is your experience? Yeah. You give us all this information about yourself. Yeah. Your qualification, your experience. Mm. That's internal source of information. Of course. Then we have to look into externally to see who are you working with at the moment. Yeah. Maybe your employer, your client, right? We we need references of about course. you. Okay, of course. We will also need referencing from your professional body. Okay. From that professional body, like in UK, you will need information from um, GSM, mm -hmm. General Medical General Medical Council, mm -hmm. GMC, sorry. And different countries have the database of doctors. Yeah. And those databases of doctors, they'll be able to see whether the doctor is qualified and is in good standing. Mm. So we will do our own external verification. So, so all, the, all the doctors are well vetted? They had to be vetted. So another, another question that someone might, be, might ask is, um, hey Sunny, like I live out in the remote area of Congo, right? Mm. Mm. And I have no access to good healthcare or where I live for me to get to the hospital it takes me several hours or even the transport is bad. How can I be able to work this on my phone? Okay, very good. It's very, very simple and this is the reason why MediLife is born. Yes. It's a borderless monetary device. I like that borderless. Borderless. You don't have to be based in any geography and you're disadvantaged yeah. in order to receive medical dispensation. Regardless of where you are, you can have access to a qualified doctor on the app, provided you're able to download the app, which a lot of people are already able to have downloaded. We already have quite a lot of thousands of people who already downloaded the app over the last one, one month alone. Yeah. Right? That app, once it is downloaded, you will be able to use it to monitor your own health. Yeah. And that information can be sent or relayed to a medical doctor in any part of the world. So you, you are not, no longer denied or receiving the quality primary health care by virtue of your location or your economic status, which is what the current situation is. Yeah. So what we're saying is every single human on the planet should have access to a medical professional on demand. Yeah. You are able to, with the app, you are able to now interrelate to a medical professional on call without the need for you to travel to any geography at all. And audiovisually, you'll be able to speak to that doctor, no matter the geography, the distance between you and the doctor. So the that app allows the you app to is. give you, it gives you convenience, yep. um, affordability. Correct. But I also hear you saying that it's actually disruptive to the current healthcare system that we have. Correct. We already have, what we're doing here, we already have a lot of um, medical monitoring protocol from Samsung, from Apple and different medical devices. But the difficulties we have with those apps and monitoring devices at the moment, they are all scattered around. Yes. But what MediLife does is unifies all of them. Wow. So it can extract information from your Apple, just simply say allow. The moment you press allow, then it's able to have access to that and record it for you and able to send it to your doctor anywhere they are. So you cannot imagine, you have your medical history, you can actually say, okay, what was my heart rate yesterday? Mm -hmm. Going into the app, you're going to see the movement of your heart, how it changes from time to time. Yeah. What is the level of my diabetes, mm -hmm. right? It changes from time to time. And now when we bring in the pregnancy tracker, the one you mentioned earlier, yeah. Is able to identify that a woman is pregnant right from the day of conception and able to monitor the development of that child wow. all the way through. 
So what, what, where do you see Medilabs in the next five years, <coughs> ten years? In the, next, in the next five years, I believe that we'll be able to assist over a billion people wow. using the app every single minute of the day, providing a lot of solution to human problems. And telemedicine is one of the major areas that have been complicated in the past, but trust me, if we don't go into their infusion of medicine and technology, technology, it's going to be a very, very difficult one. Yeah. Because according to United Nations, on average, we have one doctor to about 8,000 patients globally, on average. And if you had to go for a qualified cardiologist, mm. for example, you have one to, guess how many? 5,000? 100,000 people. What? <laughs> right? So what MediLife app is capable of doing is to get information for all the available specialists. Yeah. So patients can interact with doctors yeah. and they can see second set of opinion on the platform. Doctors can actually rub on each other on the platform, see second set of opinion on the platform wow. without the need for them to be waiting for a very long time. What I hear you saying is that even the app is going to save the, the economy a lot of money. Well, this is the whole point. The current system, I mean like NHS in England, yeah. is brilliant. Yeah, right? it's brilliant. Absolutely great. And sometimes we take it for granted. We do. Okay? We but, do. but you only realise that when you're in a particular part of the world where you can't access free healthcare or just walk into an A&E, for example and trust that the doctor will actually give you the correct information because they've been held accountable by a particular body, you know? Correct. The current system, however, is time-consuming. Mm. It, put, it puts a lot of pressure on the medical professionals. It's costly. In, imagine when I took my son to A&E. Yeah. Right? It cost the taxpayer in the UK over 300 pounds. You got the cost of the ambulance, yeah. you got the cost of waiting, mm -hmm. you got the cost of the doctor coming for the consultations. You just look into all the value system. And that's just one person? Just one person. Three and Whereas with MediLife app, what would you do? What would the patient do? What would you have done on that night? What would I use the app, record the information, and able to speak to the doctor audiovisually in the comfort of her own home? That's what many life is doing about. Wow. You will have said the cost of the ambulance. You will have said the cost of people waiting and taking bed spaces. You will have taken the cost of people actually occupying the spaces. Yeah. <laughs> you will have, you will have yeah. saved the cost of people having the water. Having, so if you are able to reduce the cost of, to the government yeah. right, by 20%, 30%, mm -hmm. that's a lot of saving when we're talking about billions. It is. This is what many life is all about. Wow. So, in the next four or five years, we are confident that we'll be able to use this particular product to be able to not only save in line, but save in cost as well. Yeah. In that case, government can use more of that money for other areas as well. That okay. is not being utilized at the moment. Wow. So, closing question. What are you most excited about in 2020? <coughs> I am most excited about <laughs> that we, we're coming up with a lot of partnerships yes. with universities. Yes. We have a lot of students who will be working with us on AI research and developments. We're having a lot of um, alternative medicine you know, organizations that will be working with us. In fact, some of them are going to be taking us to different countries wow. in the not very distant future. Maybe as early as January or February. Wow. Yeah. What they want to do, they want to use that platform yeah. as a way of getting their nutritional stuff to because some people don't like to put chemicals into their body. They don't. I'm one of those people. Well, okay. <laughs> now what we did was this was okay, let's have a test case. Mm. Right? The name of the company will make it now very, very soon. They gave us uh, some of the capsules okay 
I said, look, I'm going to try it. Let me see how, how good it is. Over the last three weeks, I've actually tried it, believe me. My energy level is going up like crazy. Yeah. And I suffer from diabetes. Okay. You know, because I lose a lot of my energy. But I am as fit, I am as, fit as a fiddle. You are. One, you are. <laughs> he is. <laughs> one of my relatives who suffer from arthritis who has been using this uh, particular capsule. Yeah. He's been using it for the last two, three weeks. doesn't need to use any gloves. Wow. And from the report, also, this one deals with cancer as well. Wow. You'll be able to, because stem cell is the ability of the system to rebuild your damaged cells in the body. Yeah. So you can see this is a level of excitement. And not only being able to bring this particular nutritional stuff or remedy to people in the UK, but globally. Wow. The moment you're able to download the app, yeah. guess what? That information of this particular partnership is on, and you can order, you can place the order for the particular product and use it from day one. Wow. So this is a lot of excitement. Wow. Thank you so much, Dr. Sani. Um, we're looking forward to 2020 and what Medi Life has in store for us. And Happy New Year. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's recorded. So we're, we're going to cut it there.